Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do knitting podcasts, fiber, anythings, and just like vlogs and chats and hauls on this video channel. And today we're doing another yarn corner. So I think this is for the month of October. This is where we talk about all the finished pieces I have, everything that I'm working on, and everything that I've gotten this month but i will say at the beginning of the video that i'm still on a yarn ban we're we were going really really strong uh for about a month and then we caved i caved a little i ended up buying some yarn but i haven't gotten it yet i just ordered it it's fine i'm still technically on a yarn ban i'm not gonna buy hopefully i'm gonna really try to restrain myself from buying too much till the end of the year and oh shoot i guess also at the top of the show the show another thing i really wanted to do for this month and maybe next month is i kind of want to do socktober but like for november and december so like sockvember and like socksember because i was i think i saw someone post on their instagram story that they uh, did socktober and they're like try to just knit as many socks as you can with me and i saw that probably on october 28th they're like good job everyone and i was like I want to do it too so I just thought why not force myself to kind of knit more socks I've only made maybe like four or five socks from the 52 weeks of socks and I really want to try to do as many as I can until the end of the year and I have so much like nice hand dyed yarn that I just feel like it would work perfectly with some cute socks in that book so segue I guess perfect segue to get into my finished pieces and I think that's what sparked this inspiration was I finished a couple socks and I've started a couple because it has been November for about a week. I have these guys. So this is the intersection sock. If you guys have been following my channel and I guess my knitting sock journey, you guys will know that I had finished the first sock such a long time ago. Like I don't even know, like months, like literally months ago. And I put the second one off because it took me so long to do this guy. Just the cables were so annoying. Like having to do them every couple row and having to alternate them. I made like mistakes. I like found one that was like the wrong turn. So I had to go all the way down and fix it. As well, I don't really like top down. No, toe up socks. So it starts from... The bottom works your way to the leg i don't know it's just like fun decreasing at the end i find like increasing is just it's like why and i'm also just not really a fan i love how i'm just critiquing the sock i'm just not a fan of this heel flap this is the first time i had ever seen this flap like this it I just, just makes the sock look really long because this part is at the top i like it where the heel is just very specific okay anyway I could go on and on about like hating toe up socks, um, but I'm gonna do them nonetheless. I'm still gonna do them from the 52 weeks of socks. I'm just gonna complain about it every time. I have been wearing this guy a lot as well. I accidentally put one of them in the washer and it looks fine. So that's all we care about. I was working up the second sock and I realized that I didn't have enough yarn. So I actually had to go back on the first sock, take down maybe like one cable row and then just kind of work from either end of the little cake that I made to make sure that I had literally had exactly enough. Like I did not have any more yarn for this guy. It is, this is it. I made it with Arweta and I think one of like the Heather Dark Greys and I only used one, yeah, 50 grams. It was quite a challenge. Like you really have to play a yarn chicken with it and sometimes it makes it like enjoyable but I know, did I say unjoyable? Unenjoyable. But I know that if I were to have gotten two skeins, I would have been more upset with myself because I wouldn't have known what to do with the second skein. I also totally forgot to say I'm wearing, this is the, I think cardigan number eight by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I haven't added buttons to it and I also haven't blocked it. I just wear it because so, it's fun, but I'm also sweating. So it's like so hard to wear any of my knits indoors because my family will just turn on the heat like crazy but I have been wearing my socks inside with like my slippers and I just feel really like cozy and I think it's like the perfect 
time to be knitting socks. From there, I ended up finishing this other sock that I had been slowly kind of working on. It is another sock from the 52 Weeks of Socks. What a trend. Uh, it is the Ona, I think. Um, it, oh gosh, you really do have to see. This is the lace pattern. Um, I'm knitting this with the Lavender Fiber Co. Dreamy Sock. Uh, I loved, I've talked about this guy before, but I'll, you know, encompass it entirely. But this is just kind of the honeycomb, honeycomb. It's like a weird slip stitch thing for the back heel, which I love. It's, t it's, it's leg down, which we like. And it just looks more, it just like looks like this is a heel. I'm so picky, I can't even. Uh, say this to you without judging myself but I have been wearing this guy I will say that this guy pills like crazy like I've been wearing it maybe like twice and it's already just like really fuzzy and like peeling off and just like I've had to like like pull off clumps so I will say like I don't know if it's like the cashmere blend of this but I don't know if it's necessarily like the best thing for socks because there's just always going to be so much friction. So I think that's just one thing I will say if you're getting any sort of like, I don't know if it's the cashmere or the wool that she has, but I will definitely have to see. But I bought a whole bunch of bases to try out from my supplier and I like, can't wait to like knit with them, knit swatches and like trying to figure out like if these are blends or like bases that I want to incorporate into a typical bliss on like a long-term basis. I think it's really cool. I really want to add more because I only have four currently. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later. And then I was on, again, a sock high. I wanted to cast on another sock. My aim is to make as many single socks as possible because I have this weird thing where it's like almost it's almost anxiety. It's like not knowing which yarn to choose for which pattern and like having to make sure that they'll match and like match well and they'll look nice. Specifically for the 52 weeks of socks, I think I'm also just really, really weirdly into organizing it. I like the idea of like knitting the first sock, finishing it and being like, okay, this guy for sure is gonna need a second pair and I don't have to worry about like, Oh no like is this even gonna look good is like the gauge right is like do I know how to knit the pattern because sometimes when I knit socks like right off from reading the, the um the pattern I'll make a mistake and then have to unravel and I get discouraged then I'm like okay then I have to find another pattern for this guy I want to test and try as many socks as I can within this period and so we went we went bold we went crazy I wanted to do this crazy sock I don't know I don't know what got over me because usually I'm like I'll do lace I hate cables like let's do something easy that's like you know leg down no I chose Crestpedia which is like this really wild sock um, from the 52 weeks of socks again so this is how mine looks like I did it with another lavender fiber co um, dreamy sock uh, it is you start from the bottom, or I guess the toe here, and then you have like these wavy like honeycomb cables. Cables, guys. Every other row was a cable for this whole thing. I don't know how I survived. I don't know how I'm gonna make another one. <laughs> this could be the only guy. But I really, really enjoyed uh, the twisted, I guess twisted rib, kind of, um, balls <laughs> bumps I don't know and then you have like a weird little bobble in the middle um you have to also cable these guys which is I've never for some reason cabled anything that's like a twisted and a pearl so you just have to like switch those and I didn't like it I don't like cabling I hate cabling but I will say I didn't mind it as much it felt like once I got a hang of it it I could do it kind of mindlessly and just like walk my way through it um, and then, yeah, I really liked the ribbing at the top here. It kept the same pattern and then you just have kind of like a ribbing in the back. I did the designated cast off. It is the Jenny Surprisingly Stretchy Bind Off. I watched like a video on it and it was actually really simple to do. I wanted to do it because from here it goes from 2.5 to, oh no, 
yeah, 2.5 to 2. And so I was really scared that it wasn't going to fit my foot. Um, so I really wanted a stretchy bind off. So we did that one. And uh, I will say it doesn't, it's like a weird, like it does give a interesting look to it. But I liked the look. I liked that it almost kind of looked a little frilly. Not too frilly, but like it's something. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's so variegated. You can like barely even see the intensity of the pattern, but it, I will say this is probably the most intense sock pattern I've ever done, but it was so fun. I, I totally get why people go crazy and do kind of wilder um, patterns on socks because you can afford to do it because it's such a small piece. And like, I think I finished this in a couple of days. Again, I will say I hated this heel flap or the gusset. I don't know, there's just something about it it just makes the foot look long and I don't know why I don't like it. I'm, I'm aware it like it's not gonna like ruin my day. From there I was like there's absolutely no way I'm going to start another one of that guy because I also feel like I get bored easy like a lot of people are like oh just like knit two socks at a time you know like you can get it done all together and you won't have to like worry about finishing the second sock but I really enjoy Kind of like the feeling of finishing one sock because you know you're like okay i got the cuff done and then i'm gonna finish like the heel and then decrease for the toe and then like finish like i like accomplishing those things really quickly and it's what motivates me to finish the sock so i will just pick it up later i think doing like different socks all the time it kind of like you get to like try different things but you also get to like revisit something and you're like oh I like the flow of this and you keep going and so I felt that especially with like the intersection sock and the Ona sock I finished one and then I went straight to the other one and it didn't feel I didn't feel drained it didn't feel tired it was like yeah let's get this done so I started another sock it is gosh there's so many names uh it is the unity sock don't know if I can like show you how it looks like this is how the Crispedia looks like if you can see it on this solid tone sock but her baubles are just something else and I think that's what kind of threw me off with this sock I was like how am I gonna wear anything with this but if you do the knitted version so there's a crochet version and a knitted version I did the knitted version and that one was tiny and it worked perfectly for me so the next sock I'm doing is the unity sock yeah I feel like you can see it a lot better here uh, but mine looks like this it looks like a, a navy blob um, but I'll try to stretch it so you can see and uh, there's cables that kind of go inward and they alternate so like there's a cable there and a cable there and it's actually quite sweet it's quite a sweet <laughs> a sweet sock I am knitting this in drops Nord Nord uh, I think it's in the Navy but it's color 15 I bought two of them because it's a quite a low meterage and it says that it's sport I will say that it does it does seem like a sport but I will say it's more just like a heavy fingering yeah like it's such a slight difference I'm knitting this like on a 2.75 and I'm still knitting them on like with like 60 stitches like I'm doing the larger size versus the, versus the smaller size this guy has been going by really quick I love dark colors but they're so hard to knit like I can't ever see what I'm doing it feels like I'm guessing uh, and I can't really tell how it's working out but because it's such an easy knit pattern I don't really have to worry too much versus like versus like this guy it was like I had to see everything I was doing so I think I'm gonna have to keep that in mind with a lot of the socks that I want to do but yeah it's been going really nicely I think just like a basic navy sock will look beautiful as for how I feel about Nord because I I feel like I feel like people have asked me how I felt about Nord but the issue is I haven't tried Drops Fable that's another sock I really want to try or sock yarn um I think once I am able to try that I can like compare it to this guy but I I do really like this it's the combination is uh 45% alpaca, 30% polyamide, and 25% wool. I think you can really feel the alpaca because I've never knitted an alpaca sock and it just feels like a little bit unstructured, like, but also smooth. 
which makes the thread feel kind of weak almost and it feels like I have to pull really tight in order to get really definition or else if I don't pull tight enough I might risk knitting it quite loose uh, and then I worry because for alpaca if you knit stuff quite loose and then you like wash it it's gonna like, grow a little bit or not grow it's gonna get looser I think over time and I just would like to be a little bit careful with that so I think knitting this guy will like go by so fast I started this yesterday and I'm excited to try out more socks because I have some other Nord that I do want to finish I feel like you can easily substitute the sport um, for fingering and like vice versa it'll just like depend on how thick you want the stock but I have been really eyeing some twisted rib ones because I really enjoyed doing the twisted rib on the Crestpedia so I was thinking maybe doing the Jilly I have a I have a brown sport which I think would work really nice with that guy but then like the issue I find is like I'll find a sock yarn and I'll be like this pattern would go great with it and then I knit it up like maybe a quarter and I don't like it and I have to unravel it I'm so picky I'm so picky and I don't do swatches beforehand either so it's like I'm going into the pattern blind I tried to do a lace and like a lace blind and it was just like <laughs> it like wasn't looking like the pattern I was like oh I can't be doing this right but I feel like I just have to power through uh, like I even tried the the Linnea Linnea I tried knitting this and like I really should do swatches because it was toe up so you have to make the toe portion first and then you start the pattern and I didn't realize that the sock yarn didn't look nice with the pattern until I got to there so beware beware I'm just being I'm just cautioning you <laughs> the challenges I'm facing but I feel like I have definitely become like a sock snob almost it's like every time I want to go out or every time I want to like just you know have socks on I gravitate always to my nicer socks and I feel like eventually I mean my goal eventually is to get rid of all of my old socks and just have like just a, like a little collection of these guys I think it's gonna happen I'm like ready I think I have like maybe 10 socks oh my god I should do a sock collection that's a good video Tiffany write that down somewhere I'm gonna write that down uh yeah sorry for going on such a big sock tangent that's just like what I've been into and so I haven't really been doing very much I feel like yeah again after that Moby sweater I feel like I actually really did hurt my hands a bit so I'm trying to take it easy I'm not trying to force myself to you know try to produce more and more content I do want to like take care of myself and my hands because obviously like they're very, <laughs> they're very important um so I've been wearing just like a hand brace at night just to make sure that I'm not like hurting it anymore and I you know I'm taking as many breaks as I can I feel like with sock knitting you kind of have to especially when it's like really intricate so I think it's I think it's been really good on my hands uh, and we've been knitting up uh, swatches for things so for the winter advent and the I guess grass is greener advent I have been trying to knit up some swatches I filmed like a whole reveal video that I'm gonna post I think I'm gonna post it on the 26th of December so if any of you guys didn't get it you could like watch that video and see everything um, and I just showcase kind of what each box had and what notion they had and um, it was a really fun video to do and I, I caked them up and I oh, I wish I could show you guys all the swatches because they're so beautiful I am like really surprised because like you see the hank and like I feel like the hank really doesn't tell you how the piece is going to be knitted up like it's such a surprise so like having those hanks just like sit with me for so long I was like really worried I was like I don't know if this is even gonna look nice at all like I was really like when you're dying you're really just like taking a chance um, but the swatches are beautiful I love them so much and I'm like ready to make patterns for them I do have I think just like two really small finished pieces and maybe I can show you um, I guess progress on some things I have this also hat oh she cute 
Uh, I knitted it in Drops Flora in black and Drops Kid Silk Mohair in black. I uh, used about like one and a little bit of skein, so you do definitely need more than the one. I knitted this in the adult medium and it's tight on me, but I know that once I block it and everything, it'll be like absolutely perfect. I would try it on, but I have these beautiful pigtails that I'm not taking off. Um, I haven't even watched House of the Dragon, but like this hair is just like <laughs> the only thing I think about and it's like my permanent hairstyle. This hat is she it's just really basic it was really easy to knit up i can notice like the scratchiness of the mohair but i feel like if i were to do have done like an isidro mohair it would have been stunning next guy don't know if i showed this in the last video and if i did i'm so sorry but i'm gonna show it again this is just the wash bag the honey wash bag by petite knit sorry those pieces were by petite knit um yeah, so I finished it, haven't weaved in any of the ends because I'm like waiting to uh, sew up the lining. I guess I'm not too sure what lining I should do, whether I should have it plain or I have like this cross like little lining that I bought um, and I feel like it would be maybe nice to make with, but this is how it looks like. It's quite big. I'm not too sure what I'm going to put in here. Um, I think I did make a mistake near the end, but I hope you can't tell. Yeah, I think this one line is just a little longer and I couldn't figure out why. I kept like undoing it and it just, I couldn't figure it out. So that's just how it looks like. People, I asked if people blocked it or if they didn't block it and how they blocked it if they did. People said that they like put like um, things inside to like keep it, I guess like plump. <laughs> and some people said they didn't even block it at all. So. I think it'll be, f I don't want to block this. I think it'll be fine. I think I'll just, maybe I'll just like put some stuff in it to like stretch it out a bit and it'll be beautiful. I have this really cute like gray zipper that will fit very nicely with it. And, and that's like all that matters. I knitted this with the C-knit needles and it was really nice. The wood with the mohair and the fingering with yarn is just so heavenly. Again, I've been knitting like swatches with my DPNs and it's just been really nice. Just very just relaxed and like chilling. It doesn't hurt my hand. Second review, we still love them. Uh, there you go. I will show just like a little quick update. I guess on this guy, this is sweater number 16. If I can find the back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so oh, stunning. Stunning. Uh, this is sweater 16 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I am knitting it with a Knit Crate yarn in the color Slate. And I was using some Leftover Drops Lima for the cream color, but I think I ran out. So I have been using the Baby Alpaca by We Are Knitters and it's been working out great. Um, oh, it shows up a lot better on camera, but like I can barely see this band that I made. <laughs> it's like a double knit and so it's quite thick and oh, she took me a long time. Like the, the neck is done I think in three millimeters or something. So it's like quite, it's quite, quite a difference from the four and a half, I think. Oh, from the four. So. I wish I could try it on, but I feel like it's gonna be quite a tight turtleneck. So hopefully we can stretch it a little bit, but I also knitted it in an alpaca, I think, blend. So I don't think it'd be too bad. I've separated it into the body, but we just haven't knitted too much of it. It's just, this guy has been a slow burn, but a nice one. Um, I find that I wanna knit it fast, but I think it's more enjoyable to knit it slowly, um, so. There is that guy. I feel like you're gonna see that guy in like a couple months and there'll be one sleeve or something. <laughs> okay, next guy. This one I'm actually quite happy about the progress that I've made. Again, I have been trying to be more, read my body and know when my body has been knitting too much. You know, like I feel like I'm always like, oh, I gotta like 
knit as much as possible because I gotta get stuff done for the yarn podcasts but I don't think that's the point of them I think the point is to like show you guys what I want to make and what I am making and like the progress and not feel like I don't I don't want to feel pressured to be making lots of things but mostly just like making them because I love them and I want to show them off to you guys yeah so I hope I hope that's okay that I'm not showing as many pieces as normal and not buying as many things as I usually do because I want to be yeah I'm trying to be better I want to make sure that I'm able to finish the things that I want to make and not be so greedy <laughs> with the yarn um, oh my gosh but I literally was looking it's this place called long I think it's called long way homestead homestead and I haven't looked too much into them but they're kind of like this family owned a sheep farm and they were doing like a fiber of the month where you can like buy the fiber for like 20 bucks and they ship it like like just like a different fiber every month and it's really natural and just they do they do like a yarn of the month and then they do like a sheep a sponsor sheep they do a sponsor sheep where you can sponsor a sheep and they will send you the yarn from the sheep that you're sponsoring. I, I'll link them in the description because it was so cool and I am so tempted to get that subscription to like all of it. Um, but I think they're kind of behind on some things or some sales or I'm not too sure. I didn't, didn't look too much into it, but from first impressions, we were very into it. If any of you guys have done any of that or know more than I do please let me know um because we were tempted because they're also from Canada so gotta support locally but anyway gosh today is just a bunch of tangents uh I have been knitting up my Fuyuhi so uh, this guy again has been kind of on the back burner we've been kind of been taking her slow because it's just a hefty it's <sighs> It's a hefty boy. Like, if you look at the pattern itself, like, of course it is. Like, the yoke is massive. The yoke goes up until here. Like, there's just, it's just so much yoke. Um, and I should have known that. Uh, but we've actually finished most of it. I wouldn't say finished, finished. Oh, you know. What am I even talking about? We did finish the yoke. We finished the arms. Okay. So, if I can find the front, I'm so sorry. This guy is ginormous. I physically can't tell. So, oh my gosh, it's stunning. Look at that zigzag. This guy, I think I was really scared to do. I was really kind of just stuck around here for the longest time, but I told myself I had to do it. And, and it turned out so nice. Like looking at it from afar, like you just see how much progress I've done. Like when you're knitting it and you're looking at it and you have to like think about each row, you don't really think about the whole encompassing piece, but oh my gosh, gorgeous. I'm gonna look so good. I need to make, oh, I'm not like a feral girl, but I think I am. I think I will be once I get this done. I'm a little confused. And so if anyone has knit this one before, please message me. I am so confused by the body decreases. So I've done the shaping under the arms, okay? goodness gracious which I really like because normally yokes you kind of just go straight and this guy will just end up being straight but you do like a sh German short row like up until here to create these triangles on either side so then it's more curved like around um the yoke and it's just so fascinating just like the technique. I was like, that's so smart. I would have never thought of anything like that. But anyway, I'm doing the decreases and I've been trying to figure out how people have been doing them. I've been looking at pictures and I've just, it should be 10 decreases every like section, but then it's, but then I start out with 198. It tells me that I'm supposed to get to 50. How am I supposed to get to 50 when each decrease section is 10 stitches? It should either be 160 or 150. It, or no, it should it should be 158 or 148. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to like pretend make decreases and just like not 
like it probably doesn't matter too much. I think I'm thinking, I'm probably overthinking it. I could probably add like an extra decrease somewhere and then, or just keep it as it is and just do the body because after this, the body is just straight and then you just do ribbing with the smaller needles and like you don't have to make sure that the count is correct. Um, and then I probably should do the sleeves. <laughs> I think I should do the sleeves first, but I think I'm waiting for this guy to run out and then I have two more we have two more of these guys to finish up and I think it'll be beautiful I think the reason why I didn't want to do this white was because I was scared that I didn't have enough because I I bought wrong and I bought too much gray and not enough white but we had enough and I have very little left over um, but I have like two whole cakes of the gray like look at this guy I just have so much of you but I love you and I don't know what to make with it so if you guys have any suggestions for what you would use with the Alaflos Plata Loopy sorry I totally didn't even say this this is Plata Loopy if you guys know any good patterns I was thinking of making uh, Wool and Beyond uh, she's like this small indie uh, knit designer she sent me a couple patterns and one of them uh, I'll show it here but it's like a beautiful honeycomb vest and the pattern calls for Plata Loopy so I might do that and make a cute little vest if I have the time, which I never do because I keep wanting to make more and more patterns and I keep like wanting to like design more and more patterns. So I was actually thinking of uh, not, I guess the word would be higher um, in a sense. So I wanted to, you know how like people do test knitters obviously. So like when you have to test for the different sizes, you can send out pattern and then they test it I kind of want to do something even more like crazy where I just send you the pattern and you knit it up for me um but I would but I want to like do it so like I provide the yarn it's like a mystery pattern kind of like I'll tell you like oh it's a cardigan I'll give you this much time and then um either like set like I don't know if it should just be just be Vancouver or like like maybe I could do it something like abroad, but you'd have to send me the piece back. I take pictures and keep it or a form of payment would be either you could keep the piece. So the yarn that I give you and the pattern and the finished piece that you have. So I would ship it back to you or uh, you can get like a gift card for my shop based off of like the amount of yarn that you used. And then you could buy from any of the collections that I do and I would I guess pay you in that way. So I don't know. I don't know if people are really interested in knitting something that hasn't even been tested and might not even work out and they can't even see how it looks like. I've been thinking about calling for, I guess, applications and stuff like that because I want to get more patterns out. I think that's something that's going to be on one of my New Year's resolutions for or like knitting resolutions for next year. I just think it would be really nice because I have so many ideas that I just would like to see come into fruition. Uh, I just don't have like all the time uh, to do so. Let me know if, in the comments if that sounds like a good idea because I just, I would love to make stuff. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. <laughs> oh my goodness. So another finished piece is actually this cute little arm warmer that I've been working on, or I guess fingerless gloves. Um, this is the next Patreon download. Again, if you guys want to go check out the Patreon, it's this month, or I guess it's last month's um, monthly download. So I'll be posting up another download uh, for this month. So hopefully I can get it ready. But this guy is like not technically done uh, drawing, but I had to show it for this video. It looks like this. It's so cute. I'm like, I don't know how. I was able to like put this out into my mind and like make this creation but like look at how cute this guy is it matches like perfectly with the leg warmers so low-key you can like match them if you wanted to I've only finished one I still have to do the second one uh, but I'm like almost on the second one and it just looks like this. I can't wait to take pictures and videos and post it on my Instagram because it is, it is, it's really good. It's really good. So hopefully I will get the rest of my downloads and post them onto my website and Ravelry soon. Okay, so I think that's it for like finished pieces and 
uh, works in progress. I haven't really got any new yarn. I did get a new Knit Crate subscription, but I ended up trying to dye that yarn, so I feel like I shouldn't really show that. But other than that, everything's the same. I have been trying to up also like the yarn dyeing and like the yarn business that I'm running. We have been like dyeing so much. We're actually, or we, I'm trying to get another collection going. So I have dyed up 11 different colors, six tonals and five like slightly variegated. And I'm so excited for that one. I have like talked about it a bunch on like the streams and with like the Patreons. We, I did a, a sneak peek for the half of the colorway. So um, if you join the Patreon, you can see the sneak peek. But my plan is, is to make a video to kind of show you guys what the collection is going to look like and then post it on my Instagram and then you guys can go and buy it because, or you guys can go order it for pre-order because uh, I'm really excited about it. I think it's a really fun idea and the colors are just like so totally out there um, and super out of my comfort zone, but I'm like, I'm literally, you don't understand, I'm so in love with every single color. I'll, t I'll probably talk about it during the um, video I make. Hopefully it'll be out soon. I really wanna do it for the month of November. Uh, if I can get the stickers that I've been making, if I can get that and if I can test out some of the bases from my supplier, then I can probably get it out soon before the advent calendar uh, reorder. So I'm also, so I'm also thinking of doing a, I, I guess a reorder of the Winter Magic Advent, so not the Grass is Greener. Those guys are for sure one of a kind. That is the only ones you can get. I understand people who don't really like Advent calendars because it is a lot to ask of you to buy yarns you've never seen before and hope you get something you like. But I really want to do a order or I guess pre-order for people who maybe missed out on the uh, Advents or just, you know, saw one that they fell in love with and wanted one. So I'll probably do that for like the January time. So hopefully, you know, we're moving things, things are moving, have a good timeline. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've actually uh, been dying so much that we have some oopsies, which is like wild. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them little blistakes because I think that's like the cutest name in the entire world. But um, these are just a couple. Uh, I know they look really similar, but I swear to goodness gracious, they're different colors. Uh, it's been really fun to try and like dye other stuff. Like I've been like dying, oh, Love this navy, goodness gracious. So I'm hoping that I can curate a little bit more blistics and then sell them as like, sell them like at a discounted rate. Um, kind of like one of a kind pieces, uh, hopefully in the next collection as well. <laughs> Many things. I also just wanted to say, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, lots of things happening. I'm really excited about everything. I would also, okay, I'm just gonna like put this out there just cause I feel like I need a, uh, feedback and I just like would like to know more but I've been thinking about having like a permanent tonal collection that you can order I know some people don't really like pre-orders because like you have to make sure you you know are up to date like I know how hard it is to like make sure that you know you order it within the weekend and you know you get it within that time frame and you, like worry ginormously um and then like if you miss it, it's over kind of thing. It's like really devastating because if you like something, it's like if it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> um, but I was thinking of doing kind of like a permanent tonals. I want to kind of create like my, my favorite basic colors that I think would be perfect all year round, forever and ever and ever and ever, and just kind of have them as permanent tonals and just kind of create a bigger selection there. But then my issue is, is I'm not too sure if I should do it, uh, if they should, I like, I'm not too sure how many I should have in stock or if I should have them in stock or if I should just like dye a couple and then, you know, if they sell out, I'll put them back up. But uh, just some, something that's some, something that's just slightly more permanent. Um, but then also do these like fun collections every once in a while. So I've just been like playing with some ideas. I've been like updating the shop as well. We've got drop down menus. I just want to make the shop feel more like a shop uh, and have like more things available. Like I would love to add like more notions and more things that you can use. Uh, so hopefully like keep a lookout in the future because it's like 
I've been working on some stuff and I'm really excited about. So those are just some of the updates for the shop and like what's to come and um, I hope you guys are like as excited as I am. It has been a dream to do this and be able to do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys know I'm on Patreon, Instagram, we have a Discord. I haven't been I haven't been streaming on Twitch, but my plan is is to maybe switch it over to YouTube. So I might do a trial run. I just have uh, just some setup things that I want to change and then we can maybe kind of switch over there and do more of like a consistent upload because I, I love watching H3 and I love that they're, they're live. So I want to do something with, that's more that's more professional versus like the streams that I've been doing. We can do like a knit along or like I knit only one piece during all the streams. Like I never knit it anywhere else but the streams. Um, and then like we could make something together or something. Um, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section. If you guys liked, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and push the notification if you want to know when I post. So thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.